skulls every day. Moving right along. Uh, yeah, we're going to upgrade him to an exalted bloodthirster. Thank you very much. And uh, go ahead and distribute these points. Uh, he's probably going to get some more dudes, but we also want maximum from our uh, sacking of settlements. Get that one and increase the efficacy of the army. Uh, we have a, a money problem uh, that we need to fix. We've got plenty of building to do, it looks like, as well. So we need to do something about our money problem. And I think this might just be the turn. We have almost a full stack with Scarbrand and plenty of destruction to reap. Now, again, our goal is to get to the Nemesis Crown, but I think that uh, we might have to take a little bit of a detour here. So uh, to do that, we have a force march army right here, right in front of us. And we are not currently at war with Vlad, I don't think. So it doesn't really do us much good to run into the uh, vampire counts in Sylvania right now when we have uh, so many more uh, targets that we can go after. So we are going to do that, but let's see if there's anything else that we can uh, bookkeep here. Uh, that will be easy wins. And I think that Grunberg is just such a win. This army needs to win a battle anyway. Or no, excuse me. That is attrition due to, even though I don't understand the starvation aspect of it. Uh, we are at war with both of these factions here. So it would not be all that difficult to do this. And that should also be a relatively easy win. This looks like we might have to fight this man. Let's look at this other army over here really quick. So this is an easy win, auto resolve. And it looks like they got some guns in here. So there's an army of 12 plus a level 3 settlement at Kemperbad. So in order to be able to fight that same turn, I think we have to fight this manually do we have to fight this manually yeah let's just go for it yeah we didn't lose that it wasn't that bad so let's go ahead and blow this up skulls for the skull throne and we did not get enough movement to make that happen which is unfortunate so we probably should have taken the sack instead. So let's just do this. We've cleared out Grunberg. Actually, that may have been a mistake. We might get um, double teamed by these two. And we may have to go back down there and, and sort that out. Uh, this one... We did capture Gorsell, but over the end turn, we did have a colonization of this location uh, by Carl Franz. So this should be an easy uh, skulls for the skull throne, an extra free skulls. Thank you. Uh, this one's on force march. We're not going to be able to do anything about that army. I don't think. So this one over here, I think I think we're going to have to take this army and march it down this way to deal with uh, Nuln because I'm pretty confident that this army is going to get eliminated over the end turn. So that is unfortunate, but we do need to reduce our upkeep. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it looks like the best way to get over there is this right here. So we'll just force march him. These two armies can now... ...not reach anything, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so this one looks the weakest. Now they both look pretty weak. This one's got bloodthirsters in it. So we'll put this on ambush and we'll move this one here. We're going to try to coax that over. 
Let's see what else we have here. Uh, this one, uh, we'll just have him go towards that other army, but we'll also use him to reveal some uh, of the shroud. And this army is sufficiently powerful enough that I think that even if we force march this and they turn around and attack us, I think we'll be all right. Although we can probably merge some of these units down and save ourselves just a little bit of upkeep. I don't think that we merge those ones. I think we leave them. Um, they're they're more valuable as multi multiple units. Uh, let's see here. We're doing Scarbrand last. That's good. That's good. This one. We're going to leave alone. It's a defensive army. This one we're going to lose over the end turn. Yep. So, and it's, it's still providing us growth, but we're going to lose it. So it's not really necessary. Uh, it looks like Noctilus did not go for uh, Port Elisor, so that's good. So let's take this guy and go for that event at sea, I think. Get him pretty close. This one also going to be lost over the intern. This one will not be lost over the intern. So we can keep it. And this one will be lost over the intern. Still going for uh, this spot over here. I think we're safe to force march into that area. Are we at war with Kemri? We are not currently at war with Kemri. So I think that we probably leave them alone. Maybe. How much do they hate us? Eric. They're pretty much hating on us right now. So this army really isn't strong enough to take on. Well, I, I suppose it is. My will be done. Yeah, it's strong. It's strong enough. But I don't. I think what I want to do is continue to recruit for it. So let's move it here to a more advantageous position, and maybe we'll have an opportunity to recruit um, after Scarbrand does all of this. Stuff. I had wrong key on that one. This guy. All right. This one, we're going to move here. And to initiate this, we don't have to be... Yeah, yes, we do. We have to be at war with this faction. So let's go ahead and put ourselves into encamp stance. We are currently standing in their territory. Yep. So let's declare war on them. And in declaring war on them, let's see if there's anything that we can get out of the... So let's go to the Great Orthodoxy, even though they hate us. Hey, let's join your war against this guy and just get a little bit of money out of you. And this will allow us to continue to recruit. And we should recruit um, 
Maybe... Can we get another rattling gun? Yes, we can. So that allows us to fill that army out and... Local settlement will be raised upon completion. Campaign movement range disabled, and we get 10,000 skulls. So let's pop that. Good deal. And then what, do we, what else do we have here? Skulls uh, from kills. So let's get some extra... Let's get some extra skulls here, uh, wherever Scarbrand is. So first things first, skulls from kills. And then we are also going to pop our uh, extra campaign movement range. And let's go get some kills. Now at war with Osland. Actually, let's not do it that way. They are, uh, yeah, we have to do it that way. Um, the, the Great Orthodoxy didn't join anyway. <laughs> we could auto resolve this, but we definitely want to maintain the integrity of the army. And they do have some armor piercing stuff here, so let's go. Let's get everybody in there, and then uh, the knights can go around. And we want to very rapidly uh, draw in everybody that we can for a uh, sword of cane. We're creating a nice blob right there. I think that that's going to do it. And then let's go find somebody to duel. Somebody that can do some actual damage. This witch hunter... Um, can definitely be a good target. Let's not engage the halberds with the knights. The Chosen are pretty slow, but uh, once they finally get there, it should be basically game over. Whew. You see that? Again, everything's at. Um, this is this army's on force march, so it doesn't really matter uh, what we take out, but we get more uh, post battle loot uh, if we take out the. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. That's fine. Um, if we take out the lords and heroes. Looks like we are now engaged. Our blood boils. Here is Karanak. You should almost have a summon. Let's go ahead and pop some of these to heal our dudes up. And actually, we'll charge into the archers, I think. All right. Karanak can strike there. Uh, while he's doing it, though, we'll have him summon and then go get that guy. Let's use a bellows. He should be able to catch that knight. Empire captain. Yep. Summon this into the background. And this battle's over. Alright, you got him. And then Scarbrand should... Well, let's make some, some guys unbreakable here so that they don't... Oh, nope. I think we still army lost him. Alright, so let's look and see. Um, this looks like a good use of Scarbrand. Although, I think the Blood Letter... Our Blood Reaper, excuse me, might get him. That was basically a no contest. I'm interested to see how many how many troops we actually lost. Let's do this on the Lord. So he can't get away. 
Oh, got him anyway. Let's uh, we'll save it in case there's another one in here that I'm not currently seeing. I don't see another one, so I think that we got all the characters. We got uh, 618 skulls. We'll go ahead and take that. And we have Boris Toddbringer here. I think that he is a good candidate for a smashing as well. His army looks a little bit more dangerous. He has pistoliers, uh, but they shouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, we just want to keep our knights from chasing them perpetually, and we should be fine. Although it looks to me like he's going to be able to retreat on us, but we should be able to chase him all the way. Yeah, and it looks like we'll get to chase him um, and not have to concern ourselves with drawing out the uh, the brass keep. So fight him. And it says decisive victory. And I think that we get away. I think we get away without fighting this manually. But I think we should fight it manually because we're going to have to fight the Brass Keep too. This, his army isn't that dangerous. The Pistoliers are what really concerned me. And we just need to make sure that these uh, Chaos Knights don't end up chasing them all over the map. So if we do our standard kind of procedure here and get in there and take out the Lord then we should be all right. Let's see. Oh. Let's do this. Get in there. And go right for, for Toddy Boy. They're going to run right at us, and I will accept uh, those uh, Pistoliers just, just wasting ammo. But if we can get a bunch of them with this... Yeah, they'll, they'll charge in on us. Yeah, that's what we want. And then we'll drop the Sword of Cain right on the blob. Like, right here. And that might do us good. Alright, get keep Toddy from, from moving. Yeah, we did a bunch of damage to those Pistoliers. That was, that was definitely a good use. I wish there was a way through this choke point other than what we're currently using, but it looks like that's all we got. And we'll take this one and run it right into the archers. All right, Todd's down. And then we can... Um, we basically crushed this segment here, so... Let's go over here and see if we can't tie up some more of these uh, these archers so that they don't end up you know it would be it might be good to send a summon after uh, those pistoliers although it looks like they're going to stand and fight against um, units that they shouldn't stand and fight against like standing and fighting against empire knights is, or not empire knights um uh, Chaos Knights is, is really, really bad tactics. Blood Father, guide me. Like, they have no chance. And they, they are doing it. And then we'll send uh, this summon to pursue. And let's go tie up some more archers. That obelisk is really getting in the way. It's screwing up my, uh, my camera. Big time. Let's see if we can get Scarbrand out of there. And, you know, no, we're just going to do this right here. I was going to use a bellows, but it. <laughs> Sword of Cain is just as good. Oh my gosh, the damage. And there's army losses.
We killed almost a third of their army with no casualties. All right, let's get... Uh, we need money. All right, we're back in the green. And now we can go to the Brass Keep. It is a level four settlement. Uh, which may give us some problems. Uh, it's not going to. And it looks like we're just going to auto-resolve this because I don't think we're going to fight another battle this turn. Oh, that is a good one. Sacking for 14 grand. Yep. And we will fight yet another battle this turn. And actually, that, res that, that wasn't all that bad, even. In fact... I'm going to take this opportunity to merge down these Chaos Warriors. Um, because I want to replace those Chaos Warriors with Chosen. Are we at war with... Yes, we're now at war with Ostland. Our actions over the course of the last couple turns have uh, resulted in that. Uh, we could totally um, capture the Brass Keep, but I think it's more valuable to us to generate some more income. And, ooh. We still don't take any casualties. Like, we don't lose any units. So, we're going to do that. And I think in this instance... We we we're, we're gonna get another blood hose, and that'll give us something in the area to capture some some of this stuff. And this army is on force march. By Sigma, no. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and send the army in, even though um, it's relatively damaged. Yeah, we'll go ahead and send the army in. Um, we shouldn't take that enough casualties to really concern ourselves uh, with losing any of these units. So let's take these two, put them up front, and they're going to go right for the Lord again. And then everybody in... And we got the Outriders, or Pistoliers, excuse me. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. Yeah, this will be fine. Let's get these guys up like this and bring them around this way. Uh, why is that one still... Uh, you know what? He's just kind of derped out from being engaged. We'll just do this and let him attack whatever works. And then do we have anything in the back line? Let's uh, see if they'll run that all the way down. Actually, we should do this and then use these. Uh, they're going to run into stuff regardless, so it's not really going to matter. Let's see if we can get Scarbrand to use a Bellows. Yep, this is good. Although, I targeted it really poorly. Chosen of Engaged. Uh, let's get him over here. And even though they're fighting uphill, they're so vastly outclass uh, the opponents that they're fighting that it doesn't really matter. All right, that's good. Let's send this over here. Let's send this one over there and this one back. Blood 
Chosen are just so... Uh, they're slow, but they're so good. There's not a lot that... There's not a lot that most units in the game can do against Chosen. Like, you have to pin the Chosen down, and you have to blast them continuously with armor-piercing missiles. I'd be surprised if we lost any units in this fight. Get ourselves a nice uh, sword cane. Let that rip through that clump there. And that pretty much sells it. One of the things I'd really like to see the breakdown on in future iterations is where the units were actually lost. We lost one model to their thousand. Uh, we, that's a lot of skulls. 500 skulls. Although we're doing pretty good on the skulls, what we're not doing good on is um, replenishment. So we'll take the replenishment. And we should be able... Yep, we can attack... A uh, couple places, actually. I think that the best place to attack currently is going to be this one. And we can auto-resolve that, so we will. And we will sack that for more funds. Do we go to war with Draika? I think we go to... No military presence. So if we go here... <laughs> Change my mind. We're going to go... There. We're going to attack Draika. And actually, I think... Hmm. I think in this case, we actually fight this manually. So everyone else... Uh, the, the, the Wood Elves have really good missile units. So everybody else is just going to sit here. And Scarbrand is going to go route the entire garrison. And I think that what we do is... Yeah, I'm just going to go right into these tree kin. And we'll just let him absorb all of, all of that. Uh, right off the bat, let's let's do a bellows onto that and see. Yeah, that's gonna double whammy. That's a good one. Let's go ahead and get as many people to come in and try to fight us as possible. That was a good cast of that. And after these uh, deepwood scouts get in here, we'll we'll pop the sword of cane. Yeah, that's good. And since he's engaged with infantry, we'll go ahead and pop this too. He might as well do extra damage because he's just going to attack whatever the heck he wants. The only thing that we might bring up... Yeah, we're going to bring the Empire Knights... Or not the Empire Knights, the, uh, the Chaos Knights into this fight here. And that should be good. This uh, Karanak also has a summon, so let's bring him in. Because those Chaos Knights can charge into... I th they, these these uh, Deepwood Scouts should still be occupied, so we should be able to charge them uh, with the uh, Chaos Knights and settle that. So let's go ahead and take one this way and then take another one into this one. And he's just shredding right through those. 
where is Karanak? Um, we're gonna take Karanak. Well, no, we're gonna we're gonna take him over here, in case they decide to flee across these uh, barricades here, and then we can use his summon to uh, to to get them if they end up behind. And it looks like they doesn't look like they're gonna do that. It looks like they're gonna stand and fight. Um, which is a very bad decision, but whatever. Why don't you not abuse the AI, Kurt? Uh, how about new? Let's get these ones, and then we can cast a um, uh, sort of cane on those. What are they? Deep wood scouts? Yeah. We need a couple more seconds of melee. Although it looks like these ones might be losing some entities. So let's go ahead and summon this right on top and just rear charge it. And that should pretty much finish it. Sort of cane in five seconds. Although, yeah, let's just let's do that, and that should wipe that out pretty well. And then we can use this one, one of these to to do that, and the other one can go after that. And that should be the army losses. It looks like. All right, cool. Let's heal up these dudes and move on. Uh, we are going to. We're gonna sack that one. And that'll allow us to now attack this. And I think we get to auto resolve this. Yes, we get to auto resolve that for full, uh, full money. And 600 isn't really as good as yeah, I think we take the uh, replenishment. Even though it's not that much replenishment, I still think that was uh, a better trade. Up to 52k. Herald of Khan. Herald of Khan. And now... We can take out Kappelberg. Kappelberg, Kemperbad. It looks like the Nemesis Crown is heading this direction. So we'll, um, I think. Let's move Scarbrand to here. Yeah. Blood awaits elsewhere. And we can auto-resolve that. Yes. Blood. Let's do skulls. Skull. The griffin wood yes. go is going up to level four. Skull. And that's not a good result. So we're going to fight this manually, um, and we're going to do the same thing, basically. Um, Scarbrand's going to win the battle by himself. Uh, and then that'll give us an opportunity to heal all these these uh, characters. Yeah. Yeah, so let's do uh, healing on both of these characters, and then uh, these ones. Uh, Karanak, uh, maybe we... Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that now. He can recover the rest of it through uh, Gore Feast. And we just... We really need to get... Bonus versus large. Alright, so he can fight this. And then let's get as many of these missile units together as we can for a Sword of Cain. Alright. 
and then they should kind of focus together, although we'll totally let them shoot their own troops. Yeah, that looks like a good one. Let's do that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, this also looks like it's going fine. And then hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to find their... Um, yeah, okay, yeah. So right there. Although, here, this would be a really good use of the bellows, I think. Maybe. Or not. Although, it looks like Karanak is taking some damage to me. So, we should probably go ahead and move him out of there after we get his summon. Yeah, let's go ahead and move him out. Even though he did a good job against the um, the Treekin, um, I just think there's too many missile units. So, what we're going to do is pop this summon right over here. And use it to run... Uh, into uh, the archer units that have moved past the yeah Scar yeah okay Scarbrand just won that that's good they can just do so much damage in such a short amount of time let's see if we can get all of these uh, units to come off of their perch yeah, that's what we're looking for. Come on off. And all of those missiles that miss us are hitting them. I can't go back that way. I mean, they are still doing a lot of damage. They are putting out a lot of missiles. Karanek does not have to be in melee to get another summon, so we basically just have to do... Let's go after this guy. Was a good area of effect. He's taking a lot of damage. I mean, look at look at the. We're just like derped out. We can't hardly move. All right, here we go. Not the tree can. I mean, they're... We're going to have to just dodge for a little while, I think. Let them use up a bunch of their ammunition. Um, I suppose we could send the army in. Now that we've done uh, a decent amount of damage. They don't have enough missiles to kill our army now, I don't think. But they could do some decent damage. Let's, uh, let's move Scarbrand over here, and let's take Kar Karanak over here and summon right into... The problem is we have to get through all these barricades. So let's, um, let's summon right behind that barricade and see if we can't do something about some of those archers. And now let's get him out of there. Please, quickly. Oh my gosh, come on. All right. What to do about this? 
It wasn't the greatest summon in the world, but uh, it did disrupt those archers. So I think uh, what we need to do, because they still got a lot of ammunition left. Let's go up this way. Yeah, let's go up this way. And maybe we can draw out some of their archer units to come over this way. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we'll send these two units of Chosen over here. Um, but the Chosen need to come over this way and then up. Although they're, now they're building a barricade, so that doesn't help as much. Um, we might be able to capture that point. But we can start those those chosen marching anyway. We want another sort of cane uh, that we can use, preferably on archers. Uh, but you know what we might be able to do? Now that I look at it, we might be able to run all the way up here and just capture that point. Let's see. That... They're partially out of ammunition. I guess I could use... You know what? That would be a good use for this. The Bellow of Endless Fury. Although... Yeah, that, that's a good use of that, because they're clumped up. So let's do that. And that might even turn that group. And let's get another shot in on this guy. It didn't turn him. But that is an archer unit, so uh, I'm I'm willing to use that on a single archer unit. He is doing a fair amount of damage. He has magic attack, which makes sense. There he goes. So there's that down. Let's just charge right through this. We don't want to go back down because we don't want to deal with... Alright, so... We don't want to deal with those archers over there. So we should be able to... Yeah, let's just go up here and... What is this? Glade Guard. A single unit of, we should be able to deal with a single unit of Glade Guard, and that will allow us to blow up all of this, and that will substantially reduce the um, the balance of power that they've uh, sunk into all of this. We should be able to handle a single unit of Glade Guard. Especially if we can get this going, and we can keep them from shooting. All right, there we go. They don't have enough troops to, sh to fight at both positions, so we'll just send one into each of them, and then whoever um, whoever doesn't make it, or whoever gets engaged, the other one can make it through. Yeah, we really need to stick on the Glade Guard. And then um, as we do that, in a couple seconds, we should, or in about a minute, we should have one of these. 
just really need to concentrate on the archers. All right, we have our Sword of Cain, and let's go ahead and pop it right here. And then we can run right over here and capture this. Hopefully unopposed, although that looks like it's not going to happen. They are doing a little bit of shooting at us, but um, I don't think they've got enough missiles to do all the damage that they need to do. Alright, these guys are in. Let's capture this point. Let's keep Scarbrand moving. We might get it. Here, let's... Alright, got it. So we destroyed all those structures. Let's get out of here. And in the process... Yeah, this looks like the best way through. They don't have any ammunition left, so that's fine. They do. But if we get him out of there, then... Um, he can come over here. And assist with this capture point. We don't really care to keep the capture point. It just keeps them from, like... We've now destroyed all this infrastructure. And that's what we're really about. Uh, these... If, Eternal Guard are doing nothing to the, those Chosen. Um, do we bring in the Chaos Knights, is the question. Let's bring him back across here. And have him attack that. And the chosen should be able to 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 fight both of those, no problem. Do we bring in the uh, chaos knights up and around and get them to come in behind that? Is the question. Uh, I don't know that we need to, uh, but we can always start it, and then if it doesn't work, then it, we've moved them for, for no reason. Yes. I mean, there's no harm in moving them if we don't use them. Versus if we move them, and or if we don't move them and we need them over there uh, to finish the battle off, then, uh, then we have to wait some more. So let's uh, maybe get another Sword of Cain here soon. I don't see archer units. Where are the scouts? All right, yeah, that's bad. The right there. That's Set that's real bad. The so um, these entities. Chosen of court. And then in. Okay. So I think that he finished that off. We'll we'll go down here and have him uh, help with these uh, malevolent treekin. They are pretty dangerous to our chosen, even though they have flaming attack. Even though they have flaming attack, which is weird because we should be flame resistant. They have not left, so I think we just set these guys here. I was kind of hoping that they were going to come out in the open. Although, we could force them out into the open. Let's, uh, let's just have him go down there and do a little bit of damage to the Treekin, to, because the, the Chosen should be able to handle that. And then what we'll do here is actually stack these guys 
We're going to send him back around. Yeah, right like that. And we can force those guys out of their, their hiding spot. And uh, these Chosen should be able to handle this no problem. Uh, none of those units should be much of a problem. Uh, but just to be sure, let's go ahead and pop that right on top of them and take out those malevolent dryads. And then we can send this guy, we can send Scarbrand down. Uh, we are doing some damage to our Chosen. It's not great. Uh, but we did a ton of damage to them. More malevolent Treekin coming in. But if we take Scarbrand down here, our Chaos Knights are now in position. We can, we can send Scarbrand over here, let him tank some more missile fire, draw these guys out, although we just got the army losses. So what I was going to do is I was going to pop this, draw all these guys out, and then charge into them with the Chaos Knights. But we don't need to do that. So there it is. Um, okay, so I was going to blow this up, but I think that we need to sack it for 20 grand instead and then let's see where we can get to we can get to Mordheim and right now we're kind of hunting for Dryka so let's let's go down here and see and I would if our army was in such bad shape as far as our characters are concerned I would not auto resolve that. I would auto resolve this, but we need to heal up those characters. Uh, so unfortunately, whenever I load into this battle, uh, it crashes. So we are going to have to auto resolve this. I think it's probably because this is a save file that has been updated multiple times uh, through multiple patches over the course of this whole. Uh, this whole experience here. So unfortunately, uh, I think there's some corruption in the base files uh, because there have been so many changes. But uh, anyway, we auto resolved it. We didn't really take that much damage. I would have liked to have uh, healed some of these characters, uh, but that didn't happen. And um, I think here we're going to do work going to take the skulls and then we're going to do the same thing at Essen and hopefully we can load into this one and we are going to definitely have to hold uh, this army in reserve although we will probably use the chosen just like we did last battle and maybe we'll use these knights uh, right off the bat all of these characters are going to get healed. We might use we might use Karanak, but these ones need healed. And um, I think that actually this is the way to go. Um, well, yeah. Look. So what is this? Deepwood Scouts. They're probably the most dangerous unit to us right now. So let's go ahead and well actually we'll we'll pop our our uh, rage incarnate here and get everybody to come in for a big group hug. And then we'll we'll drop that on him, and then we'll we'll send him up here to take out these deepwood scouts. And I think we'll send the chaos knights up here, actually, along with these two units of chosen, and we might as well bring Karanak in as well. This Blood Reaper can help. Uh, it has Blood Greed. And we just really need to limit the amount of missiles that Scarbrand takes in the short term. Uh, because 
he's not fully healed yet. This... Yeah, let's send, let's send him in here, and then we can probably summon right on top of that. And we'll bring this guy in, too, because we can. T take him the long way around. Bingo. That's what we wanted. And then, do we have anybody arriving over here? Yeah, we have our knights coming up. Yeah, that was a good use of the summon, uh, I think. Knights are incoming. They can go after um, those Deepwood Scouts. Right now, Scarbrand has gained more health. He has not found his battle healing cap yet either. And Karanak also is anti-large. And as long as he's not getting shot, we should be good um, for him to fight against um, those uh, malevolent treemen. So uh, let's send some more knights up here and then maybe bring these guys around. Let's get Karanak to go up into here, maybe. We just need him to distract. And where's Scarbrand? All right, cool. Definitely, that's a good use right there. We can take out a bunch of those Deepwood Scouts. And we've, we've done a lot of damage to their army. So, let's send him... Actually, no. Uh, too late. Let's do this. For fighting's sake, where are the skulls? And there's the victory. Uh, this one, I think we need to have a blood host in the region, so, so we're going to do that. So that we can capture some of the this territory. Needling. Needling is owned by the vamps. If it means blood. Becca Fenn. Alright, there should be a city here that we can reach. Blood. Yep. And I'm just going to lose that because I don't really want to fight another one of those. I'm getting bored with those battles. Um, we'll take this. And in the process, I think our best bet is going to be to occupy this. And that puts an end to Scarbrand's rampage. Although, you know what? That was a, a mistake. We could reload. We, we still had this that we could use. But that's okay. Uh, we'll use it on a different turn. 
um, to attack something that we wouldn't otherwise be able to attack. And that'll allow us to now fill out some more of our army with Chosen. And we have skill points to do. Who are we talking about here? We're talking about this guy up here who's just sitting there earning all the skills, basically. <laughs> Doing nothing. This one is still recruiting. Demon Prince. Useful adornments. Conquest of the Blood God. This guy is made f got five skills <laughs> off of that. Just sit there doing nothing. You gotta love it. Uh, let's do this. Such blood. And if next turn, he'll get to go in and take that. This one is... Yeah, we moved him here so that he could do some more recruiting. So we're going to do this and a Chosen. Definitely upkeep on that one. And then let's talk about our buildings here. We need more monies. So let's do this. And then were there any... Yeah, this needs to be colonized. We're just going to run through these and see what, what fits. We don't really need to do anything with the gates. This needs colonized. This needs colonized. It's a gate. It's a gate. Let's repair this and... It's red territory. So let's do control. And control. So we don't have revolts popping off here. Money. Money. Increase that. This, we don't know that we're gonna actually get to keep this, so we're gonna leave that alone. Definitely need the ports. Increase our capacity. Uh, money. Um, no, this one. Although, now that I look at that... Oop. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it as is. This, we need money. Yeah, definitely upgrading that. We need to get this port up. We're, we're pretty much we're pretty much tapped this will income from all buildings yeah we're pretty much tapped on what we can spend this turn so let's go ahead and do our commandments and do uh, construction costs same thing here and that's the end of this turn. We'll see you next episode.